Long duration spaceflight is challenging and physical exercise is crucial for health. Astronauts experimented with a variety of exercise devices. The goal? Prevent debilitating muscle and bone loss. In 1996, for 188 days, astronaut Shannon Lucid diligently used Mir's stationary bike and treadmill as much as possible. She still experienced significant loss upon her return to Earth. For upcoming ISS missions, NASA had to come up with a better solution. Dr. Roger Billica at NASA's Johnson Space Center suggested that resistive exercise equipment might be the best solution. Inventor Paul Francis made a submission. His idea was to use spiral springs wound into discs called flex packs. The concept, later branded Spiroflex, provided a linear resistance that simulated working with free weights. Paul's proposal was selected, and with NASA funding, he oversaw the design and production of the new device dubbed IRED, or the Interim Resistive Exercise Device. The system was completed in time to launch with ISS Expedition 1 in 2000. Spiroflex technology was also used in a commercial Schwinn product, and enhancements made were incorporated back into the IRED on ISS with help from NASA physiologist Mike Rapley. An updated version known as A-RED now flies inside ISS. Paul Francis and his company, Spiroflex, own the technology patents. Nautilus Incorporated purchased Swin and in 2005 introduced the Nautilus Bowflex Revolution line of exercise equipment. It uses the Spiroflex technology and is sold today. Paul Francis has also started a new company, Oyo Fitness, with a new line of equipment utilizing the Spiroflex technology. It's another example of how learning to live well in space has been a boon to living well on Earth. Today, we induct into the Space Technology Hall of Fame interim resistive exercise device, Spiroflex. The Space Foundation is proud to honor and acknowledge the scientists, researchers, engineers, and others whose imagination and inspiration helped create the products and services originally designed for use in space that today improve the quality of all our lives here on Earth. Truly outstanding technologies. Both uh, Leroy and Carl have been users of the next technology that help keep them safe and healthy uh, during their long duration space flights. Uh, Leroy is also an uh, 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 active user of this particular technology and Tom is gonna stay here as we proceed with this next induction. So, if I can move us forward here, the, uh, our second technology that's being recognized is the Spiroflex Interim Resistive Exercise Device, or IRED. God, you gotta love these NASA acronyms. <laughs> to present that award, we have astronauts Chow, as well as astronauts Walls joining us. Both of them, again, as I mentioned, have used the technology here before. So if I can please call forward and induct into the Space Technology Hall of Fame, I would like to invite Johnson's, the Johnson Space Center director to come forward, as well as Paul Francis, uh, of the CEO of OYO, uh, OYO LLC. This is Mark Guy, or pardon me, ladies and gentlemen, of uh, Johnson Space Center. Additionally, a Nautilus Incorporated is recognized for induction as well. Unfortunately, they were not able to join us here today, but we are grateful for their efforts to further uh, commercialize this technology and share it with more people. Gentlemen, congratulations and thank you. Who knows where we'll go and what we'll find out in the next 50 years. <laughs>